Hi guys, welcome to Horizon Cosplay, and you're about to watch the story of how I swindled Annabelle into making what is now my most favourite pair of jeans. Okay, so the first make thrift fit thing we are going to do is these are a pair of vintage Levi jeans that are fit them perfectly, but they're a little bit too long, they're a little bit too plain, and we have some damage up at the zip. So the first thing I'm going to do is hem them slightly shorter so that they fit him, and then we'll sort out fixing the damage, and then we're going to decorate them a little bit. Let's go! To start off with, Ben tried the jeans on and I made several markings to determine how short he wanted them to be. I then found the medium point between all of these markings and drew a line across the trouser leg before pinning it in place and asking him to try it on again. Okay, so what do you think about the length, Ben? I think they're close, but I think what we might need to do is just make them slightly longer because I'm worried that when I move around and such they'll like come up too much. Okay, so how so much longer do you reckon? I was thinking about like just a centimetre longer, just just enough it has that extra catch, if you know what I mean. Okay, one centimetre Because don't be, we fine. also still have to add a seam allowance to fold in on itself, don't we? Yeah, we do. So I was thinking, why don't we just like err on the side of safety, give it an extra centimetre plus the seam allowance. Centimetre plus seam allowance, alright, whip them off and we'll see what we can do. Sweet. I then re-measured the lines an extra centimetre and a half longer before making up the other leg to be the same and pinning both of them in place. Okay Ben, does that work for you? That's much better. The right length? Yeah. Do you need to try sitting down to make sure that they don't go all the way up your legs? Much better. Okay, so we're happy to sew them like that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> They're nice and comfy. And the Levi's are always really comfy, but I haven't been able to wear these at all because obviously they're just way too long. Like, even when I was at home, I just couldn't wear them. But also because I didn't want to exacerbate the problem that we've got here, which is like, if this gets any worse, I didn't want it to tear the seam down here, so I just didn't bother wearing them at all. Yeah, that's okay. We can definitely fix all of that. So if you want to take them off, and I will get on with the stitching. Sweet. Once that was done, I trimmed off the excess denim and pinned and rolled the hem at the base of each leg. Also, on a side note, the back of the jeans is ever so slightly longer than the front. It was like this on the original jeans too, and I'm not sure why trousers do this, so if you know, please tell me in the comments down below. Okay, so the bottom of the trousers are all pinned, but the other damage is by the zip, and there's this big tear here. Now, if I just stitch it all together, it's gonna go a bit weird, so we're gonna have to patch it. But before I patch it, I think I'm gonna just trim down all these loose bits, and then we'll see what we can do. I then took some of the denim that I had trimmed off and cut a small rectangle to patch the frayed crotch hole. I started fixing this by trimming off all of the frayed edges, which did make the hole bigger but also took away a lot of the bulk that I was kind of worried would cause an unnecessary bulge in the area. I then pinned the rectangle of denim onto the front side with the edges rolled before doing a back stitch with an extra strong double thread to help hold it in place. Putting my needle through the fabric diagonally in places where there wasn't a lot of seam allowance from the original material so that it would grab onto a nearby seam. I carried this on all around the front side before doing the same on the folded side and the back. And in the end, oh my gosh was this neat. I actually think this might be some of the best hand stitching I've ever done if I'm honest. Well hello, good morning, we officially have to finish these jeans, which I wasn't necessarily going to do today but so be it. So I do just want to show you guys, I am so so pleased with how this patch came out. I mean just look how neat that puppy is. Now the only other thing that I've got left to do on the machine is going to be to hem these trousers. Ben has requested I use a red bobbin with gold thread, so we're going to do that because that's what he wants. He wants the red from the label and the gold because they've kind of used gold thread on the rest of the jeans as well. The other thing is that we do have some patches to sew on. Now this is what I've got to work with today. We've actually got more patches arriving this afternoon and even another one or two tomorrow. So it's going to be quite a busy set of trousers and I have advised Ben because he's actually wearing these while going on holiday to visit his family in another country. That. Um, well, essentially, if he carries on collecting patches and brings some home with him, I will then continue to sew on patches until the entire jeans are covered. But we'll see. This patch here, which is Ravenclaw, we're actually going to try and trim that one down a little bit because it isn't... It's okay, but Ben doesn't really like the checkered, so we're just going to cut it down to the shield. We've got a New Zealand patch from when Ben was in New Zealand. Oh, hell if I put it the right way around. We have... An England patch, which I actually think we've got a UK one coming, so I might not use this. And then we also have a Spitfire because Ben likes aeroplanes, because why not? So these all need ironing on, and then I'm going to try and hand stitch them. For now though, let us hem these, see how that goes, and then we'll attempt everything else. The first thing I did was hem both trouser legs. These came out super neat, and I was honestly surprised at how easy my machine found the material to sew through as last time I hemmed the jeans, it seemed to really struggle over the side seams. 
Unfortunately, you can't really see the glances of red that Ben was hoping for, but I don't mind. And once they were both done, I had got a hand needle and threaded the excess thread to the wrong side before tying it off. I then cut out the Ravenclaw shield, which also came out really, really well. This then got ironed onto the tiny pocket that's half inside of another pocket on the front of the jeans. After that, I took the New Zealand flag and ironed that onto the back pocket before confirming that the other flags that were arriving later today and tomorrow will need to be arranged with the Spitfire on the front. So I left that and began to hand sew what I'd already ironed on. And that's when I immediately ran into a problem. Well, two problems really. The first was that the denim was so hard to push the needle through, but I fixed that issue by changing from a back stitch to a blanket stitch that only caught the top layer and this actually worked out perfectly. The second problem was that the needle was getting the iron on adhesive stuck to it making it stick to the fabric and feel very unpleasant to hold. Now as it happened me and Ben have literally brought some anti sticky stuff that we were using to remove glue from old moonshine bottles so that I could use them for storing buttons. Dabbing some of this onto paper towel I wiped my needle every now and then with it but even just a wipe actually stopped so much of the stuff sticking to the needle and took anything that was there off. So overall it was a win and then the first patch was finally done. And if you liked my genius solution to that problem don't forget to also like this video. It really helps with that beast known as the algorithm and lets me know what you guys enjoy watching. I then did it all again with the second patch which was a little harder to sew as it was a bit thicker and then that was done as well. And just as I was about to turn off the camera, guess what packages arrived? Opening these up was such fun and Ben actually came home just as I was finishing it up. You also got some pin badges. I did? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's even a good pack! And the Australian flag. Ooh, yay! They're so cute! I'm gonna wear them. Go for it. Yum. So it's 10 o'clock at night, the iron is boiling, the last patch has arrived and now I'm going to iron them all on and then we can do the final stitches. The next night we were actually going out for dinner but when we got back, though it was very very late and the next day was going to be an early start, I took the time to iron on all of the patches. Most of them stuck on really well but the glue on the South African flag just wasn't doing it for some reason so I made sure to stitch that one on first. I also pinned up the pocket linings keeping them well out of the way so that there was no chance of me catching it and sealing it to the denim or even stitching right through both layers so it could no longer be used as a pocket. As these are men's jeans we all know that that would be completely unacceptable after all. Before going to bed I got through two more patches which I was surprised and pleased about. To be honest I probably would have done all four had Ben not turned all the lights off on me and if you want to see more of my late night sewing antics do remember to hit that subscribe button. The next day, the final patch arrived, Ben's Celtic wool Fenris. It was quickly ironed on before the stitching began, at which point I discovered that this was the worst patch to sew for no other reason than it was ridiculously thick, and at one point I had to even get out the pliers to help pull the needle through the fabric. It was an utter nightmare. But at long last it was done and Ben could finally put on those jeans, and boy oh boy did those jeans look good. They were comfy, easy to wear, and the flags and other patches showed nicely with no signs of coming off and there's plenty more room too for him to add more later as and when he collects other, I don't know, flags, wolves, other designs. If you have some ideas, do let him know in the comments down below. And because these are vintage Levi jeans, these should be fairly hard wearing and you can't even tell that we've had to cut the bottom off the jeans because they are just that neat, which I am utterly proud of. Not to mention that Ben absolutely loves them. I mean, he was so happy to find them in the first place, but now that they're all neat, fixed up, personalized and easily wearable, well, I am honestly not sure that he's ever going to put on another pair of trousers ever again. Hopefully at least he'll remember to wash these in between wears. Fingers crossed for me anyway. What do you think? Well, they're incredibly comfy. They're now the perfect length and they're covered in my favorite patches, three of which I've had for years in a drawer that I wanted to actually put on like a real cool vintage um, like denim jacket. I mean, it's not a denim jacket, but it's a vintage pair of Levi jeans. I yeah, think that's I'm, I'm pretty happy damn with close. that. No, I'm happy with that. Plus, they fit me so well. Like you the waist so is nice perfect, man. Like you couldn't have made this up. It's brilliant. No, I I love them. I think the repair is like if for the little bit in the crotch zipper thing. That has to be the neatest repair I have ever done, and I am super proud of that. To be honest, it was pretty damn seamless, and actually it went together a lot easier than we expected. Yeah, to be I honest. thought that would be a big struggle. The, actually, the worst bit 
was sewing on the Celtic knot patch because that one was yeah, so much thicker than all was. the others for some reason. I think this is a much better quality one. Yeah. Well, hopefully they all stay and you'll have to continue gathering patches and we can gradually add to the jeans over time. Five years time, it'll be down around my ankles and up the other side. Yeah. So if you guys have any other ideas for making thrift fit, please do let us know in the comments down below. I think we have a few other things that we were going to alter and adjust, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Right, so that's always good. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, like, and what else do they have to do, Ben? They also have to subscribe and comment if you want to see any new things. <laughs> Until next Wednesday, guys, when we will be back with more cosplay, sewing, and vintage sewing machine content. Have a beautiful day. Bye!